We're here at FDIC 2010. I'm here with Jim Crawford from Pittsburgh. And, uh, Jim, tell us about the, the props that you guys got here in your class. Uh, this prop here is called the Pittsburgh Drill. And basically it's a uh, team evolution for a rapid intervention team. They work as a, in a group of four. And there's three uh, props that they actually have to navigate through. And then there's a down firefighter at the end of the system. And the first prop here is a uh, wall breach where they actually have to drop their air packs and the four go through in a low profile maneuver and they'll follow the hose line to the victim. Uh, the second prop is actually an A-frame where they up and over, navigate down, and then the third prop they get to is a, is a tunnel chute where mm -hmm. they have to drop their packs again in low profile to the victim. Then at that point what they would have to do is uh, prep the victim for removal and then what happens now is we reverse the whole process where the team actually has to get the down firefighter back out to this point. And it's a time process. Uh, we, we give them a 20 minute total time. Um, obviously, the quicker um, you get this, mm -hmm. this process done, the, the better. Very good. Now, when you uh, run hundreds of people through a pop like this, what are the lessons that you're seeing? What, what themes well, do you see? The reason why we developed this is, is because of all the teaching uh, that we've done across the country and finding all of these the mistakes that occur. Mm -hmm. So this is a multi-task evolution. So a lot of things are going on at the same time. So what, what we've found is um, in the event of a collapse where a firefighter is trapped, that's why we incorporated the low profile maneuvers and getting mm -hmm. out of your pack, getting through tight spaces and able to get that air pack back on as a rapid intervention team member. Um, working, working with uh, uh, skills with, with your gloves on. There's a lot of maneuvering with your fingers mm -hmm. in this type of force, uh, keeping your gloves on in that environment. Very good. So this looks like a prop that people could build, I mean, at home without sure. a lot of effort. Uh, we've actually, we encourage fire departments to build these props. It's only three props, and if they have space for storage, they mm -hmm. can actually, you know, push them back in and store them. And then whenever they want to do the evolution, you can actually put this in your bay, set it up in your bay area, and, and run the guys through through the evolution. Well, great, great stuff. So these, these are props you could build at your station. Just go ahead and get some lumber. You can see how they put it together and, and what a great drill it would be. So no reason why we're not out there training. Thanks.